Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Jar of Fireflies. My name is Kana and here you will find videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And yes, guys, we started homeschool this week. Oh my gosh. But before I get into that, here's a little intro picture. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, we did school this week. It was our first week back to school. I know, July, whatever. It was so much fun. We had a blast, but I'm also kind of glad that it's over. It was super duper fun. We all loved it, but of course it totally came with its challenges also. You know, we all had to readjust to being back to school. You know, we had the last like five weeks off where my older son was in camp and my little two were playing a lot during the day and you know, everyone was just kind of playing and relaxing. There was like no school of any sort. So to get back in this groove of, wait, I've got to do stuff, you know? <laughs> and me also, because I was totally in a groove this summer where I didn't have school. I mean, it was kind of like having the summer off. So I was totally on top of things like housework and cooking and laundry got done every day, things like that. I don't really want to lose that, but I got a little behind this week, but that's okay. But yeah, so I had to also get used to getting back into that schedule of having something to do for so many hours during the day but it was fun, it went great. We got almost everything done. A Little bit left to do today, but it's like, you know, like we're painting today, so that's okay. Other than that though, like seriously, I don't really know what's going on today. It is Friday, by the way, which means that we are getting ready for Shabbat today, but there's not a whole lot to do because we're going out to lunch tomorrow and we don't have any guests or anything for dinner tonight, so it's gonna be a pretty easy day, I think. I say that and then it, it's not gonna be, but yeah, I mean, that's basically what's happening today. I'm just gonna bring you guys along for some real life. So let's do this. So I thought I would be getting right to work on the kitchen, but all the kids woke up and my husband came home and he started cooking and things just got crazy. So probably a good hour or so went by before I picked up the camera again, but it's, uh, I don't know, mid to late morning now. And my husband had deep fried some jalapenos and some eggplants, sorry, drew a blank there, <laughs> for some Shabbat salads for tonight. And yeah, and then I think he was pretty done. So I got to work on cleaning the kitchen there after the kids had all finished their breakfast. Uh, my son had a smoothie and some gingerbread and my other two little kids had some cheesy toast. So a little variety there, but you know, it's Friday. There's not really much of a plan for food on Fridays, usually, generally speaking. Kitchen was a pretty quick little cleanup there. Maybe took me 20 minutes. It was pretty much unloading and reloading the dishwasher and then just cleaning off the counters. And of course, putting all the things away that were out on the counters that didn't need to be there. Okay, and everybody else at this point, in case you're wondering what they're all up to, is uh, mostly playing. Well, my husband's at work, so I guess he's not playing, but he left to go back to work as soon as he finished with deep frying there. And my youngest was in his room just playing with some toys. My oldest was in the living room playing with some Legos. He brought his Legos out there to the living room to play. And my daughter, my middle child, was out back playing with the dog in the backyard. While I was cleaning up the kitchen, I was kind of going over in my head, should I make a dessert? Should I not make a dessert? You know, cause we're only home for the one meal this weekend. So I kind of didn't feel like I needed to make a dessert so much. We do have popsicles and ice cream and stuff in the freezer. So I could totally just grab some of those. And since technically some of the popsicles are homemade, you know, then I guess I did already make a dessert, right? <laughs> I definitely enjoy a homemade dessert for Shabbat, but I've been baking so much recently, which is great, but it's nice to have a break today. Okay, I think I've got the kitchen pretty well under control, and since we're pretty much done cooking, it might actually stay this way the rest of the day. I do have a load of laundry going in the laundry room. I've got the dishes running here in the dishwasher, so background noise, but accomplishing things. So I think what I'm gonna do now is set up some painting for the kids since we didn't get up to that yesterday and see if anybody wants to join the fun. So I'm just gonna clear some space here on my table in my study and set up all of their paint stuff. I printed some color sheets off the internet that have to do with this week's Torah portion. So it just kind of reinforces what we've been learning in this week's Parsha, which is the Torah portion. While at the same time, building on some of their basic painting skills. Okay, let's see who wants to paint. Yeah. Do you want to paint? Yeah. It's all set up. Go on in. Hey, sweet girl, you want to do some painting? Yeah. It's all set up. Go on in. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, cutie, you want to do some painting? Yeah. 
Okay, it's all set up. Come on in. You're welcome. Okay, they are very good set up in there. So I'm gonna sit down and work on some editing and I guess that's it for a little while. So I'll check back with you guys in here in a bit. After I had finished up my editing and the kids had finished up their painting, I sat down with my daughter in the kitchen to paint her nails. We've been talking about doing this for a couple of days, so I was glad that we actually had the time to sit down and do it. So anyhow, I painted her nails gray. She chose a gray color, and then we did a second coat of like a like a sparkly like glitter 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 coat that's the word i'm trying to go for and we had the best conversations just chatting away and it was just so fun to have that time with her i always enjoy that and while we were also sitting here we were also discussing what we should have for lunch so plenty of ideas got tossed around but what we ended up deciding for the kids is that they all wanted to have beanie weenies they're on a huge hot dog kit kosher hot dogs are back at trader joe's so and they're it's like such a good price so we did that for the kids i put those beanie weenies together after i finished my daughter's nails and then i got to work on my own lunch I am rarely in the mood for hot dogs, so I decided to make myself some fish instead. So I just grabbed a pan and then I put in some lemon juice and then I put in just the juice from a bottle of capers. And then I added in a little bit of margarine. I should add that that jar of capers was almost done, so it wasn't like a full jar of caper juice. Anyhow. I turned the heat on and just used my spatula there to mix up the butter as it was melting with the caper juice and the lemon juice. Then I added in a piece of Chilean sea bass and I let that cook on both sides for a few minutes. While that was cooking, I threw together some instant mashed potatoes, which is what I served my fish on. And then I added a little bit of the sauce from the pan, not quite all of it. I don't want to make like my mashed potatoes soggy or anything because they were the instant mashed potatoes. And then I added on what was left of that jar of capers. If it was a full jar, I would have loved a few more capers, but that's what I had. <laughs> And then I actually got to sit down and enjoy a quiet meal, a quiet hot meal by myself. It was really nice, it was such a treat and it's very delicious. This is kind of one of my new favorite ways to serve fish, um, like a fish that's not salmon. Salmon I still like with cilantro and honey, but this was really delicious. So just wanted to share my one of my new favorite lunches with you guys. So after lunch, I kind of just chilled out on my computer for about an hour or so. I was working on putting together some stuff for my daughter for this year. She is going to be switching scouting organizations, and I was kind of putting together what we're doing for the year for her, kind of researching the badges and just kind of getting familiar with the program again. It's a program that I used to lead. I led it for about five years, a few years back. Anyway, so I worked on that for a little while, and then I realized it was like three o'clock, and I was like, okay. I know Shabbat's still not for a little while still because it is summer, but there are things that I need to do and I had better get to them. So I came out here, grabbed the laundry and started putting all of the laundry away. Then I went back into the kitchen and started putting away some of the dishes. The dishes here in the drying rack I had washed after we had finished lunch, so they, I wouldn't have a bunch of dishes in the dishwasher going into Shabbat, so I just hand washed those. So I'm just gonna put those away real quick and then I am gonna vacuum the floors, which really needed to be done because I hadn't done that in probably two days. So for sure needed to vacuum before Shabbat started. <laughs> Also, wow, my skirt is super wrinkly today. That's kind of fun. <laughs> it's not supposed to be wrinkly. I just haven't worn this skirt in a very long time. And I guess I just didn't really think about it when I pulled it out of my closet. So note to self, iron this one. Then I came out here to the living room again and I hung up the paintings that my kids had done with uh, their Parsha 
coloring sheets. They did some yesterday and some today. And I just wanted to hang those up so that they have something to talk about during dinner about the Parsha. I'm hanging them with washi tape, which I love because I can pull it down and it doesn't make any marks or pull off any paint. Not that I care about this mantle because we're replacing it soon, I hope. Then it was back into the kitchen for surprise, more cleaning. I mean, like legit, my kitchen is clean and yet there is still more work to do because the dishwasher from this morning needs to be unloaded. I saw this meme yesterday. I can't remember who posted it, but it was something on Instagram. And it was talking about how like the one thing they don't tell you about growing up and being an adult is that you will always be cleaning your kitchen. You will be cleaning your kitchen if you get takeout. You will be cleaning your kitchen if you cook dinner. You will be cleaning your kitchen if you don't even go into it, if you just live with other people like that's just part of adulthood is you will always be cleaning your kitchen and that's kind of how I feel on Fridays in general or every day but especially Fridays Side note, since that was the last uh, load that I was going to be running today, right there I'm turning off the dishwasher. I want to make sure that I can reload the dishwasher on Shabbat as we have dirty dishes that can go in the dishwasher. That way I can keep my counters and my sink a little bit more clear and just throw things in the dishwasher. But if the dishwasher is on, it will like beep and light up and stuff like that. So I can't use my dishwasher if I forget to turn it off so yay I did remember today so today's going well I'm calling this a win okay yay this little power hour of cleaning is starting to wind down I'm washing like the final three dishes that are there in the sink that the kids had used for some snacks this afternoon it's probably about four o'clock right now so I don't know maybe it was an hour and a half that I spent cleaning and stuff so either way I got it all done I'm happy about that so after I finished washing the dishes, I went ahead and continued with some kind of pre-Shabbat checklist items that I keep in my head. And one of them is to run the garbage disposal and then put a little strainer in the bottom of the sink because I can't use the garbage disposal over Shabbat. And when I put the strainer in there, at least then I don't have to worry about uh, food going down and blocking up the sink before I can run it again. Okay, with more checklisty kind of things, I started putting light switch covers on the light switches so I don't accidentally turn them on or off during Shabbat or my kids or my husband. Okay, so I feel like today is going down as the easiest Shabbat prep in history. I hope it's not too boring for you. However, for me, this is a really nice uh, change of pace from last week, which was an incredibly busy and like no time for anything kind of a Shabbat prep all day long. So kind of enjoying this relaxing Shabbat prep. So yeah, I finished all of my work there, all the kind of cleaning up and laundry and all that stuff. So I went back to my computer and started working some more on the scouting prep for the year. And now I'm about to put together a little bit of food for the kids. It is about 5.30 right now, so still plenty of time for Shabbat, but still a few more things to do. So let's go do them. So first up, like I said, is getting some food for the kids. Because Shabbat starts so late, sometime after eight o'clock, it's definitely a good idea for me to give my children some food here around five or six because otherwise, well, they're just going to be really, really hungry and that's just not very nice or very fun. So I'm just putting together kind of a little snack plate and I just kind of asked everybody, hey, do you want this? Hey, do you want this? Until everybody had a little plate of food, mainly bamba and fruit. And then my youngest wanted to have some gingerbread that I had made. So yeah, good times. So funny. I came in the kitchen and they were doing that, clinking their cups and saying L'chaim. And I was like, wait, can I film it? And they're like, yeah. So yeah, that's where that came from. Anyhow, I am pulling a banana bread out of the freezer that I made maybe a week or two ago and just bringing that out so that I have something fun for breakfast tomorrow on Shabbat. I bought the kids chocolate cereal, but I would rather not eat that. And it's flower arranging time. Yeah, you know it's getting later in the day when I start arranging flowers. Yeah, it's really not that late in the day, but getting a head start on things. So anyhow, I just pulled out the flowers from last week, which actually like half of them kind of held up, but um, my husband did buy me new flowers that are gorgeous. I'm loving these roses. So I obviously want to put the new ones out on our spot table. So yeah, these roses, they're like orange and yellow and they just remind me of a sunset. Like they're just, ah. Oh beautiful so really fun to arrange those 
And then I grabbed the good ones, they're the good enough ones, whatever you want to call them, from last week's arrangement and just pulled those out, gave them an extra little trim, and then put them in a tiny vase to put somewhere. I'm not totally sure where yet, but they're going to go somewhere so that they will still look pretty somewhere in the house. So I couldn't find space for them in the kitchen. Normally I would put these on the windowsill, but with my herbs, there's no space. So I brought them here into my study. And with that and not much else to do, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and set the table. It's only like five something right now, but oh well. So while I'm setting the table, I will take this opportunity to ask you to please like this video if you are enjoying it and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to see you here again. Be sure to drop me a note down there in the comments too so we can get that conversation going. I love answering your questions and just in general getting to know you guys. So like I said, we don't have any guests tonight. It's just our family. So I'm just setting the table for five. And after all the guests that we had last week, it is again a nice change of pace just to have a quiet family meal together. And the finishing touch, the flowers. It never quite feels like a Shabbat table without flowers. And I blame that on my husband because he has always bought me flowers on Friday or Thursday, whatever, just whatever going into Shabbat uh, for our Shabbat table. And at first I didn't like it. I was like, you can't spend all this money on flowers, you know, but now I kind of love it. So it's okay. Guys, it's still only six o'clock. I actually feel like this day is really long. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, but so, I am back on my computer right now and I'm gonna work a little bit more on the scouting stuff and, and then get ready for Shabbat here in a bit. Maybe I'll take Shabbat in early tonight. I don't think that I mentioned what scouting organization we are switching to. So my daughter was in Girl Scouts and we had a troop together and then the pandemic hit and so nobody wanted to do it after that. And we just still can't really quite get a troop together. So we are switching to Frontier Girls and I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get a group of other homeschool girls together to do that with her during the day, during the week. So here's hoping, but I gotta plan it out so I can tell parents what to expect. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and call this video a close and go out and light my candles and get Shabbat started here a little bit early tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload.